cheers as Kevin Rathel leaves the hospital. Tonight, back from death's doorstep. I was a goner. Oh, I had 48 hours and I was resurrected on Easter. Kevin's now become a new piece in a puzzle doctors are trying to solve. Can plasma donated from coronavirus survivors save current patients like Kevin? For seven days, Kevin was on a ventilator in a coma. Doctors at Orlando Health trying a treatment that is still being studied, known as convalescent plasma. The hope, injecting a survivor's antibodies would fight off the virus. Daddy! Still disoriented, mm -hmm. FaceTiming his wife Stacy. And a day later... Hi, Kevin! When neighbors welcome him home, Kevin meets a stranger, James Crocker. That fist bump, not their first connection. James was Kevin's donor. Doctors cannot say conclusively if it did the trick, but Kevin asks, what else? Amazing, I can't believe it. The, um, they gave me 20% chance left to, to survive, and within 12 hours of James showing up. Kevin's family found James through social media. He was 14 days clear, tested negative, and had a compatible blood type. It's great to actually meet him in person and to see this picture, I think it's all we could have hoped for. Yeah, he's my blood brother. <laughs> in Philadelphia, a similar story where a 10-year-old was given Chuck Deitch's plasma and is improving. Um, I didn't even think twice. I'll do as many times as they, they need or allow. Tonight, there is an urgent nationwide call for coronavirus survivors to donate their plasma. The recently formed Plasma Project reports 8,000 survivors have lined up. Tens of thousands more are needed. Families are anxious. What should they know? There is no magic bullet. Nothing is perfect. Plasma will almost surely not work in everyone. It may work in some people. It may work in some people better than others. But tonight, Kevin with his wife and three kids celebrating, but also with a plan to donate his plasma to a firefighter in New York. Kerry Sanders, NBC News.